what's going on action figure fans this is Sea Spray and I'm here today with something a little bit different I was going through some old figures and I thought I lost this but apparently not this is a spawn figure this is a classics cover I think Halloween spawn if I'm not mistaken with this series what they did they took the comic covers and then they did it into figures as you can see here really nice detailed figure um, amazing detail amazing coloring uh, some of the accessories that I have on this uh, don't come with Spawn. They got, actually come with the Tin Man, um, Twisted Tales from Oz, or I think the name is. And those pieces here are the pumpkin and the two birds. Uh, the stand with all these pieces, this is all one piece here, and the Spawn of course. So the two birds um, and this are separate. And the owl does come with the stand. The Tin Man is uh, he's, I don't know where the heck he is, but I did find his pieces, and I did find a pitchfork. I was going to put a pitchfork in his hand, but I couldn't find it. This thing has crazy details, so let's just take a closer look at it. Uh, you can just see his face a little bit better. The tree is amazingly detailed. I got a big thing for uh, trees uh, with no leaves. Um, I don't know, little thing I have. I have some artwork that I did with uh, stuff like that. So I just thought the birds would be a nice little touch to this uh, for the review. Um, you can see the little pumpkins down there with the little cool cat. Nice detail. Little faces on there. Now these pumpkins are just regular. So you can just tell the difference in the coloring and stuff like that. They're they're from a different uh, they're from different sets. Cool cat. It kind of reminds me of my girl cat sock. A little vicious little wench. Okay, so amazing detail on the cape nicely handcrafted and painted I think there's some airbrushing in there too, it looks pretty cool it's amazing face detail awesome and you can see the owl and the bird, looks pretty cool just sick amazing okay so let's talk about Spawn's uh, detail and articulation with the cape off and then we'll just go over the cape by itself because it's just a, an amazing feature uh, by itself so let's take a look at the back here just show you what it looks like from a different perspective looks pretty cool that's like that foot piece it looks awesome you just see a little bit different coloring in there a little bit more subtle in the back I think alright Okay, we're first going to talk about Spawn uh, individually, and also the cape, and then we'll talk about the tree and just the rest of the features in a little bit more further detail. The detail in these figures are just fantastic, and they deserve to be looked at in, in a different perspective. This guy can be a little bit awkward to stand up. The cape is really, really big and heavy, and it, uh, you know, really, and it really overwhelms the figure. As you can see, it, it just sucks him in. So all you want to do is you can just remove the cape from the figure, and it is on a little peg. There's the hole. It doesn't hold in there uh, too well, but uh, when you have everything balanced out well, it doesn't hold too bad. Okay, so we'll just take a look at the figure here. Amazing figure. I think this guy came out in early 2000s, like 2004 or something, if I'm not mistaken. And there is a Walmart exclusive one which does have the mask on, which you get to just take a look at here. So for articulation, I think he has around 20 points of articulation. He does move at the head, uh, up and down, and 360. I think it's on the ball joint there. I'll take a look there. Arms can rotate 360 at the shoulder, and it's on, I think, a little peg in the hole on the, in, in the shoulder region here. And the arms do move back and forward. They do move on the bicep here, 360, and they do move at the elbow. They do rotate on the top of the forearm here and I think that's it. No other in the, in the hands or nothing like that. Everything's the same on this side. Uh, it's a little bit different here with this giant gauntlet thing. Just really awesome looking. Really sweet. Spawn is uh, he's not around anymore, not too much. Um, McFarland toys is, but Spawn figures not too much. Uh, here and there they are. Uh, I don't, I don't see them too often though. His hands can rotate 360 at the wrists on this arm, 
And it's a little bit loose here. He does have uh, Adamum articulation in two points, up here and also in there. Looks really nice. It's like, whoa, rock on, Tatumus Prime, Tatumus Prime. Does rotate 360 at the, the top of the torso here. And just back and forward at the waist. Nice detailing on the skull there. Just amazing detail, just sick. Can't say enough good things about this thing. So cool. Legs uh, rotate 360 at the top here and rotate 360 at above the knee. They bend at the knee in two points. Really nice, double jointed. 360 at above the ankle and they do move back and forward on the ankle and they do have toe articulation. This one's pretty much the same uh, but this it does move at the top here instead of down there and the toe just moves. It's kind of funny. Alright, awesome. Just look at this thing. Okay, let's get into the cape. So for the cape, this thing's pretty heavy. Fantastic detail on the back, as you can see. Little skulls. Really nice. It's a, it's a rubber. It's a little bit harder. And I just love how it curls all around here. Just fantastic detail. A lot of effort was put into this. A lot of love, for sure. Oh, so cool. Nice. And you can just take a look at some of the accessories here. Nice detailing. Cool, scary little birds. Um, like I said, these don't come with it, but I just wanted to show you. The tree is awesome. So scary looking. Just very nice detailing. Nice paint. And the tree does come in half, and that's, you know, to fit it in the package, of course. And it just goes in the hole there, and there you go. And just to show you the owl there, it's really nice detailing on that. It doesn't come off, though. It's one, one with the tree. It's one with the tree. One with nature. So final thoughts on this thing. Uh, if you can find it, you know, I suggest you pick it up if you like what you see. This thing is awesome. Uh, it's a little bit more better than the regular spawn figures. The other ones kind of are a little bit frail and they fall apart. This one's not too bad. So final rating, 5 out of 5. This thing is just overall killer. This thing is sick. So this is Sea Spray coming at you. And I'll catch you guys later.